How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Um, we got the Arbor Press here. Uh, I'm going to be tearing it apart and doing some modifications to it, which I'm going to share with the rest of you. Um, I watched a lot of videos on the mods that other people done to these. And one of them was taking the first two teeth off of the um, your rod here, your ram. Uh, and we're going to be doing that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this thing apart and clean it. Um, because, you know, I, for some reason when you buy stuff from like Harvard Freight, uh, they don't take their time and clean up the metal and stuff. So I'm going to take all the burrs off of everything and I'm going to clean up everything on this thing and get it ready to modify it the way I want it. So let's get to tearing this guy apart first. Now really, uh, to tear this apart, it doesn't take many tools. Uh, on this machine it takes a 12 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, and an Allen wrench. That's all it takes to tear this whole entire thing apart. So my first step, I'm going to take this little sleeve off the side here. <clears throat> this is the little stopper to keep this guy in place. This is all you have to take off and then you can pull that whole piece off. That's where that piece goes there. Then we're just going to take this guy, slide him out. Maybe. We did snug these up a little bit, so we'll have to unsnug them. Okay, now this is a little plate that goes on the back of the screws that keeps your bolts from dragging the back of your ram. So we're going to continue pulling this guy apart. <coughs> we're going to dig deep here. I want to know what this machine's made out of. I want to know how it's made. I'd like to see everything. I want to learn everything I can about this little tool. Before I go putting it all back together and finding out something's not what I thought. I bought a Harvard Freight grinder one time and it had a gearbox on the side of it and uh, I tore the gearbox apart and found out it really didn't have any grease in it. So it was a good thing that I tore it apart just to check it because you never know what you're going to find when you get inside. You may have stripped bolts, there, it could, anything could happen. So we're going to tear it all apart, clean everything up with a wire brush, and put it all back together. got the arbor press and the, the vise here and I got these holes. This is where the plate bolts on the front and your ram goes down through here. I'm just going to clean this all out real good and uh, we're going to clean these threads out. I'm looking down in these holes and there's a lot of debris in the bottom of these holes so you got to make sure you have safety glasses on and we're going to take a little bit of air Actually, I probably can show you the debris that's in here. Let me let me do this. Look at the debris come out of there. Look how much stuff come out of there. Can you see that? That's why I want to clean these threads out. You can see how much garbage comes out of there. There's a lot of thread metal in there that needs all needs to come out so you have good clean threads some are cleaner than others but you can still see the debris on here this in here is just clean full let's see you can see it in my hands that's all the metal from where they um, 
put the threads in there so we're just gonna we'll blow them out with a little bit of this and then we'll take some air and we'll get them nice and clean so we won't have to worry about them uh, let me get a rag here and then we're just gonna take some air we're gonna clean this up real good cuz I don't want anything on there we'll grease this thing when we go to put it together We'll put the grease in there that we want in there. So, so back off here a little bit. Now you want to stand out of the way. Make sure you have your safety glasses on and just take your hole and clean them out. See them threads over there? Look how nice and clean that is. I'm gonna pull this camera back. I, I'm tired of buying cameras. <clears throat> I can hear the stuff in the garage. I think we got them pretty clean now. I think we have them really clean. Let's check them out here. Not too bad. I think they learned out really nice. You can actually see the threads in there. But just to be sure, I'm going to run a... This is just a clean out tap. We're going to run it down in each one of these and make sure they're nice and clean. No burrs on them. Take them right down to the bottom. And then back them off. We'll do this to all four of these bolts. And uh, there's two more on the side too. I'm going to clean them out too. There's two right over here. Let's see. There's two more right over here on this side. <coughs> I got a bit of a cough. I had a sore throat for the last few days so... You have to excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these out and then I'll get you guys back in here. Okay, after running the uh, clean out uh, through all these. I washed them out with a little bit of oil again and then uh, blew them out. So we got that pretty good and clean now. All right, now that we got them all cleaned up, everything looks good. We got all the threads cleaned out. We got all the burrs off of everything, cleaned it up with a wire brush. Now we're ready to start modifying. This is gonna be the first thing I start with is we're gonna take the two teeth off the end of this. That's going to allow us to adjust the handle that way for for pressing things. So, and I'll show you how that works as it goes. Now, this is not my idea. I got this off of YouTube, just like everyone else. I'm learning. Uh, I don't have a meal. I know the gentleman I watched had a meal, and he cut these down with a meal. I'm just going to use a four-inch grinder because that's what I have. We're going to make it work. All we got to do is cut these two teeth off. And what happens is. When you cut them two teeth off, when it comes up to here, it allows us to skip a gear. So you can turn your handle. As you can see, if you skip a gear, your handle in the back, it just keeps twisting. So that's the goal to uh, taking a couple of them teeth out. And that way the handle is allowed to slip. Now, you're not going to press anything that tall. Uh, like this gear where you your gear is missing will be clear at the top when your rams up so you're not that's not gonna bother you any uh, losing those two teeth so we'll go ahead and get to cleaning these two teeth off right here now while I'm setting up my grinder uh, to grind these teeth off I'm gonna take two teeth off of here as you can see this grinder this is a used grinding wheel and this has got a taper on it and this is a new grinding wheel 
it's almost completely square so this is what I want to use I want to use a new grinding wheel uh, one that when we grind that out it's gonna be pretty flush down there we're not like I said we're not using a mill we're just gonna use a grinding wheel so we want to try to do it the best that we can so we'll be using a new grinding wheel and taking our time and grinding them off okay make sure you guys got your safety glasses on and uh, this is gonna take a little while so we're gonna go ahead and just start with our first tooth and we're gonna grind it off then we're going to go to our second one and grind it off. Alright, as you can see we got the two teeth off of there. Now I'm just taking a file and cleaning this up a little bit. Just going to clean it up a little bit, try to get it flattened out pretty decent, clean some of the burrs off. That don't look too bad. We'll take it over the wire brush real quick and then we'll lock it into place see how it works. I kind of wanted to show you, I wanted to show you guys how this works. What happens is, is once the, uh, gear once the ram goes all the way to the top you can see them three teeth right there they're going to be able to slip through here and allowing you to adjust the handle your handle for maximum pressure so you'll be able to turn the handle and i'm going to show you what i mean uh, but i just wanted to show you how that works it just goes up in there and once it gets to the top it slips but it needs room for them three gears to go around so it just keeps slipping around so let me show you how it works on the arbor press now i'm not going to completely put this thing all together because i have more modifications to do to this but what i am going to do is i'm going to i'm going to put this rod down in here now let's jack this guy up put this little piece so it has something to rest on. All right, can you see that okay? Get you in the center there. Now, when you pull your shaft, your ramrod, all the way up, it should slip, and that allows you to move your handle in different positions. You're never going to really press anything that high with this machine. Oh. Uh, I have a 20 ton press over there. If I want something that big, I could take it over to my 20 ton press and use it. This is just for small stuff. So, as you can see, it's just going to click and we can put our hand handle. See, like, a, if that's not bad pressure, but if we wanted it a little bit, we can do maybe two clicks. Now oh, we're really off. Okay, now we could get maximum pressure on our rod. I mean, you got to fool with it a little bit, but that's the way it's going to work. Now, for you guys that have bought the Harvard Freight uh, Arbor Press, mine does not have any holes in either side. So, in my next part, I'm going to be drilling some holes in this and uh, making some tools to work with it because I want to be able to do snaps in my leather I want to be able to do stamps and I still want to be able to press so I got a little bit of figuring out to do but that's what I'm going to do I'm going to figure it out and then uh, we'll get another part going here so this is the end of number one for Arbor Press and it does work so you can use it however you want. Alright, that's the end of part one on this Arbor Press. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be, on the next part, we're going to be drilling a hole through this. And uh, making some dies. And I think i got a good one for you. But you'll have to see. I'm pretty sure I have a good one. Uh, maybe a little different than the others. So, uh Catch the next one, see how it works out. I like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. 
leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.